first question is regarding the this reduction of syllabus because most of the students has already prepared like 80% syllabus they have complete and it's um, at the peak time and they have reduced the syllabus so how you took this reduction of syllabus is it good is it like how students are taking and how you uh, advise them uh -huh. to every time the examination agencies uh, have this type of tendency they should have done it last year because the most covid effect was in 23 not in this year they did not reduce at that time and suddenly they announced the examination this year as such because already student were prepared and they have done the course so it will not impact them negatively at least because they are mentally prepared that they have done the syllabus so for je men there will be no access negative impact but again there is one more uncertainty they cannot leave this syllabus because the advanced syllabus has not reduced the release yet again the agencies are not doing justice with the students right. they should give both the syllabus at the same time that to at least for 8 9 month before the examination date so now still the uncertainty is there because this syllabus is there in the je advanced so the dilemma is still there in the mind of a student yes, but because we have completed our syllabus for them so just we are saying to, till je men what you can do just relax and just see the outline of this chapter and after then and most probably the syllabus of je advance will also come then we can decide that what we have to do my next question was regarding that only that je men has uh, reduced syllabus and je advance has not reduced so yeah. there is a bit of confusion among students like whether they have to drop them and whether they have to study for forward so yeah thank you for answering that that's great help that is a great help now um, i want to understand that there are two sessions in the uh, j main right yeah. and every day every session has different difficulty yeah. level according to you what student can expect will this session one is a bit difficult because there is some changes in syllabus or the session two right? How do you compare? See, uh, I I see that as such in session one, they will not have any much pressure, particularly the students those who have covered the syllabus. Even if the some of the students who have not covered the syllabus, um, now the syllabus has reduced. Mm -hmm. As such, because they have not increased the syllabus, they have reduced the syllabus in terms of their preparation. Uh, I don't think there is much difficulty, but the, this is difficulty for the teachers, for the you see, question paper makers or coaching institutes because now they have to change all the papers they have prepared already. They have to change their study material, question bank, etc. So for them, the load will increase. But for students, I feel that the Jan attempt is much easier as compared to April attempt because in the month of April, the second they have given the chance of from first of April they are starting. and the board will end in the march last week of march so practically i do not feel there is any sense of two sessions for the students how right. at least they should get one month of time for the revision so they do practically do not have any time for the revision i do not see kim why they are giving two chance only the sake for the sake if they are giving two chance practically there are no two chance so what should you prefer like uh, students should give january session like yeah, and... particularly the students who are see uh, serious for both je men and je advance for them je men is more crucial attempt mm -hmm. because now after this they are having mentally 3 months more for the preparation of je advance but who they are thinking that we will appear in april in serious manner then they will have very less time for je advance this may be for the students who are feeling that we are comfortable only for je men and we are not very much serious about je advance mm -hmm. they can take je men exam as a mock test for them and je the uh, april exam for the serious preparation my another question is yeah. regarding the preparation of je men along with boards because yeah. as you as we know like all yeah. the board exams and the je men attempts it's simultaneously that like we have a very less time to prepare so what you prefer like how students should prepare for both the exams because the time is very less in that term again you see for j board exam the because syllabus has reduced and normally in the between two exam of the board at least four five days gaps are there normally i uh, we do not have the time table of this year okay. but normally the four five days gap are there in this gap they can com comfortably concentrate on the board or board only the difference in the examination pattern they should have the writing skill better for the student they take mock test or pre board test of the school seriously and they should at least prepare two mock test papers or pre board papers before the actual board papers 
So in month of you can say uh, December and Jan, they can appear two pre-board or mock papers, and they do the proper evaluation of these papers. So their writing skill will improve. Concepts are same, uh, whether it is JEE main or board. Only the pattern is different. The preparation is different. Writing skill is required. So now because the serious students they are more focused on objective type of questions throughout the year so they have the less practice of the writing skills writing skill is important so in the month of december and jan they should more focus on the writing they can divide their 50 50% time for these two 50% time they can devote for board and 50% time they can devote for the jee main preparation in this way next two three months they can go ahead after month of jan matlab they can do ki 90% 80% time they are giving only for boards my next question is regarding the sleep subjects like they yeah. have three subjects maximum syllabus is reduced from the chemistry section so how students should prepare there is some preference that should students should prepare this subject first and what will be the preparation strategy for preparing take me normally for engineers i think here they have done some justice for these students i feel because they feel chemistry somehow is not in their cup of tea because chemistry is more conceptual some of the many things they have to learn it i think the paper setter or the syllabus setters have done some justice for these students because for engineers physics and mathematics more they are feeling comfortable for practice also they are difficult but they enjoy in this difficult serious student enjoy in this difficulty also this is a pressure up for the average student for for the good student this is the enjoyment also doing the physics question or mathematics question so now they can devote more time for the mathematics and physics particularly those who are having the high target for getting iits or good iits so they will have more time for the practice of mathematics and physics questions and in chemistry because most of the syllabus has reduced from the inorganic chemistry that is the learning part and they uh, in organic chemistry they did not change much in physical chemistry they have reduced one or two topics so more or less here they can manage easily so they can devote like if they are studying 10 hours a day so out of this 10 hours they can give 2 to 3 hours of chemistry 4 hours to mathematics and 3 hours to physics how you prefer that student should prepare in last two months because it's very crucial this time is very much crucial for them for boards also for jee main also nobody wants to drop they yeah. always want to attempt this exam and clear it at a go like first attempt they want to clear it So, how you suggest like how they have to prepare for next two months, coming two months? Ah, uh, first they should forget that this is the crucial time. Normally, what happens? in a day matlab as a parent as a teacher we remind the student four five times in a day now this is the crucial time this is the crucial time so they invest more time to remember that this is the crucial time then that creates the pressure on them rather they plan how they can study and in this study more revision quick revisions are required uh, normally students do more questions of practice but if they are only doing the practice of questions sometimes they do the silly mistakes so first part they do not do the silly mistakes particularly in the je main paper so all the things should be in tips for that for each chapter they should prepare the short notes of one page or two page in with the fast speed they should revise it again and again so they should have the target ki the, the topics which they feel they are stronger topic they should have the tendency that for seven times eight time 10 time they will revise these topics they should attempt the previous year actual papers of jee main like for 23 22 they can appear the papers they can have the target that at least they will appear 15 20 papers in the real conditions after attempting the papers they can analyze their marks and after analysis of marks they can see their weak areas like suppose in a week they are attempting two papers after attempting each paper they can see ki in week Which areas they are not getting marks? What mistakes they are doing? Mm-hmm. They can also see their examination temperament. In the three hours, they are able to complete the paper or not. They can also see ki what pattern they are looking after. That first they are doing mathematics or physics or chemistry. So which pattern is best fit for them? Because there is no fixed rule ki you should do this paper, this subject mm-hmm. first time. So they can see this type of things, and in the next paper they can try that for five percent, ten percent. I will improve my syllabus. I will improve my silly mistakes. So gradually, if they attempt papers fifteen twenty, they will able to reduce their mistakes. Another thing I want to ask, according to the pattern, like J main last year patterns, how they have conducted the uh, J main. Can you give some expected uh, cut off that students should prepare for? See from last two years to twenty two twenty three, they have increased the level of paper, particularly mathematics. Now there is no much difference in mathematics paper of J main. 
and JE advanced. The difficulty level is more or less similar in mathematics. So here the gray area for the students to attempt the complete paper. Sometimes they feel that they are not able to attempt all the questions in three hours. So first they should have the strategy in the mind that how they will attempt the paper. If the paper is difficult, how they will face it. They should go in the free mind in the paper. It might possible that paper may be easy because as you told that there are so many papers and the difficulty level of each paper may be different. So they cannot go in the mindset the paper will be difficult or easy. They may feel that the paper will be difficult or paper may be easy. In that case, they have to change their strategy at that time only. So there is a very large range of marks with their rank. So right now, we cannot say in some papers it might possible that even for 250 marks, they can get in the top 100 rank. In some cases, 250 marks even not sufficient for 1000 rank. But roughly what we can say if we take the broader idea, if they are crossing 200 marks out of 300 within 10,000 rank and they can get good NITs with this rank NIT. and uh, but the, the, in Delhi all NITs are available computer science available if they get the 10,000 rank so good NITs are available with this rank if they target 150 marks so their range may be around you can say 10,000 to 25,000 rank with 150 oh, marks yeah. so with 50 percent marks they are in the 25,000 rank of I can say J main and they, that is also sufficient to get NITs, government NITs, engineering colleges for them. So now the range is with them, ki at least they can target 150 marks right. to gross in this JE main exam. It, it, it is actually very much helpful for students because yeah. they don't know the how much they have to target and how to yeah. target. Thank you. Thanks for this. Uh, uh, good sorry, I, I would like to add two questions. Uh, don't you think that we should also talk about the student who is supposed dropping this first session like the January session and the, how they will prepare for the April session first and right. there should be some messages for the parents that the, how parents can support to their kids and all. So I think yeah. th these two questions should be added that that is important for the experience also. Sure, sure, sure. These are the actually basic queries for students and it's very yeah. helpful for them to prepare. Okay. Because uh, as they have two attempts, they should be very much careful how to prepare and which attempt to take. Yeah. So it's, it's actually very helpful. Yeah, we can ask that. And it would be helpful if we, uh, we know sir can answer this. You see, leaving the attempt is not the good choice. Even if they are not prepared. Like suppose if we say they are having two chances. So first we have to think why the authorities has given two chances. Sometime it might possible ki even if you are prepared, your examination temperament is not good and you are not facing some pressure real pressure on the real basis. So giving the mock test may be altogether different in the conscious, subconscious mind of the student. It remains that it is a mock test. So he will, he cannot feel the real situation pressure. But if they are going to the paper in the real situation, every moment will give giving them pressure. When they are moving from the home, parents are giving well wishes to them and relatives are giving well wishes to them. That will create pressure on them. They are moving to the road reaching to the center, searching for their venue. These all things will create the pressures. If they are becoming late due to the traffic, if they are center at remote location, these all creates a very huge pressure on them. So these all things are very, very important to check first key how I will be behave on this type of situation. Even if the students are not, pre not prepared, they should appear in January attempt also because this real situation will make them stronger when they will appear in the month of April. So it is not only for the subject it is for their mental temperament also in the real type of situation also so it might possible ki, even if you are prepared and you do mistakes when you go in the exam due to this type of pressure some of the students collapse in the examination hall because their concentration has lost so that's why they should appear in both the test and you know there is one more thing we never know like suppose if there are six sittings six days exam and 12 papers are there in which paper which type of students are appearing we do not know suppose i am a student i am going to the exam and that day most of the brilliant student appeared so my percentile has decreased but in april reverse situation may be there with the same marks i got the better percentile better rank the luck factor is also there so whether we should not reduce our luck factor because ultimately right. the better percentile will work actually yeah that's a very good answer yeah. thank you this session will actually help students because we have uh, covered max maximum basic queries of the students so thank you Vinod sir for connecting with us this is a very good session